Hello and welcome to Azure Wala YouTube channel. We are in part 22 of Microsoft Certified Associate series. So far we have completed 49 questions in previous video. We will be looking at question number 50. You have Azure Active Directory tenant name Contoso.com that includes following users. So we do have two users. User one is cloud device administrator role and user two is having user administrator role. Contoso.com includes following Windows 10 devices. So we do have device one which is joined as Azure AD registered device and device two is joined as Azure AD joined device. You create following security groups in Contoso.com. We do have two security groups. One name is group one. That is membership type of this group is assigned. And owner is user two. And group two, which is dynamic device membership type. And the owner of this group is user two as well. So let's scroll down in our answer area so answers are given like this that we have given a statement and we have to prove it yes or no based on the above situation so uh, before we go to answer we will just understand the concept of uh, the users and their uh, role these both the roles we will understand about and we will understand about uh, what is Azure AD registered and AD joint devices, how it is defined and what is the assigned group and uh, dynamic device uh, membership type of groups. So let's jump to definitions. So first of all, we will understand about Azure Active Directory registered device and uh, Azure Active Directory joint device. What is the difference? So basically registered device means uh, the device uh, employee can bring in and this is the personal device that can be registered to Active Directory in this case. So uh, register to Azure AD without requiring organizational account to sign in to the device. So uh, there is no need of any organizational account in this case and they can bring in their uh, device and uh, register it to Azure Active Directory. The second thing is the end user local credentials. So end user is having its own local credentials. Uh, single sign on uh, to cloud cloud resource also possible. And what is in the Azure uh, Active Directory joint devices? Joint devices or joined only to Azure Active Directory, requiring organizational organizational account means it must have organizational account to sign in. Uh, to the device and uh, SSO to both cloud and on-premise resource also needed. So in simple term we can say that registered devices are uh, personal device of employee and uh, joint devices are the organization's device having their own account to login. Let's move to next concept. So next thing is uh, what is cloud device administrator role so what does it role mean so uh, we need to understand that uh, this role what it can do so user in this role can enable disable and delete devices in azure active directory and read windows which is not applicable in this question uh, the role does not grant permission this is very important not does not grant permissions to manage any other property of device so only it can enable disable and delete devices other than that it cannot grant any other uh, permission or uh, other things to change on the device so uh, keep in mind so this is what cloud device admin and administrator does so next one another role is user administrator role in the question means what a user administrator can do they can create user update uh, the property user properties update uh, sensitive information of the user disable enable uh, any user 
disable restore some users or um, create and manage user views create and manage all the groups assign and read licenses for all users so this is what a user administrator can do so these all list of job they can perform next is the membership type in groups so what sort of membership type uh, are accepted in groups so first in uh, assign so assigned is uh, uh, allows us to specific user as a member so we can uh, add the new member remove the member in the group and we can uh, an added user will have uh, unique permissions so this is what assigned then another type is a uh, dynamic uh, user so dynamic user however it's not being asked in question but uh, since we are going through the membership types so one type is assigned second type is a dynamic user it is it will be applicable to user only and third one is dynamic device so in our question uh, assigned and dynamic device are being used but still we will understand uh, dynamic user lets you dynamic uh, membership uh, rules to automatically add and remove members if a member's attribute change means anything uh, of that member changes that uh, we have the defined the rule and if and that rule if that is changing it will look uh, the dynamic group and it will add or remove the person from that group so it totally depends on member attribute and rules we are defined so uh, same way uh, it it can be for uh, device as well so uh, dynamic group uh, or uh, for devices uh, rule automatically add and remove devices from the group if device attribute is changed so in uh, above case it was members attribute was changing in this case uh, device attribute is changing so uh, dynamic group is basically uh, on the device attribute so uh, once the device attribute is up, up to date or changed it will automatically decide to keep uh, the device in that group or remove from that group so based on our question i have created this diagram so we do have uh, group 1 and group 2 uh, one is assigned group where we can add or remove uh, the users and the owner is uh, user 2 in both the groups and another one is dynamic device group which uh, we can add the devices definitely to this group and uh, uh, another uh, for group 2 also the owner is user 2 further we do have one device device one which is uh, active directory registered means that is uh, maybe personal device of the user and device two which is uh, azure ad join means this is organization's uh, device so we are going to test uh, first statement which is the user one can add device two to group one so uh, first of all we have to see the user one's role and uh, then device 2 and group 1 so for the first statement uh, user 1 is a cloud device administrator so definitely uh, uh, he can uh, enable disable and delete the devices this is what a cloud uh, device administrator can do other than uh, any other property they cannot change means they cannot add any device to group or remove uh, the device from groups so except uh, uh, adding uh, or uh, enabling disabling and deleting device they cannot do anything else on the device itself so uh, there is no other permission uh, on this role so uh, the answer for first statement would be no now the second statement is user 2 can add device 1 to group 1 so uh, user 2 is a user administrator here but at the same time uh, user 2 is a owner of uh, group 1 as well so um, in the group 1 uh, owner has authority to add or remove device or uh, member in that case therefore uh, the answer for second statement is yes because owner can aid any member or remove any member from the group where the owner is now the third statement user 2 can aid device to uh, to group 2 so user 2 is a user administrator and device 2 is azure ad join these both things are okay at the moment but at the same time 
the group 2 is actually dynamic device group so uh, in this type of group the device can be added or removed based on their attributes so uh, in this case if there is no attribute change and manually if you, someone would like to add the device to this particular group is not going to happen that's why the answer is no i hope i was able to explain this question and the logic behind uh, selecting uh, yes and no of the statement but still if you have any confusion you can post a comment and i will try to uh, explain you on the comment as well i hope uh, this video was informative for you and please do like uh, subscribe and press the bell notification icon also please uh, share with your friends um, thank you for watching this video see you in next video